Have you ever wanted to bring a good partner into your life? Like your life partner, like someone that would really love you and cherish you. And you start making a list of all the things that you want in your life partner. Today we're gonna narrow it down and I'm gonna show you exactly in just a couple of steps how to actually get the traits that you want in your life partner so it's really clear for the universe. But first, here's the show reel. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. It's so easy to make a list, right? Oh, I want someone that's trustworthy. I want someone that's funny. I want someone that's smart. I want someone that's responsible. I want someone that likes my kids. I want someone that my friends like. When we get this list, and then we start putting it all out, that all these things that we want. But then we start running into potential partners. We go, well, this one's nice, but that one's funny. So how do I balance? Which one do I choose? So here's what I want you to do. Step one. I want you to write down a list of your past relationships, like take like maybe four or five, like really relationships and write down all the things you liked about that person and all the things you didn't like. Okay. Then take the things you didn't like and write the opposite of that. So in other words, if they were narcissistic and self-centered, what would be the opposite of that? Like what would you have liked them to be instead? Okay. So by the time you get done, you'll have a list of their positive traits and a list of traits you wish they had had, basically the reflection of their negative traits. That's step one. Step two, sit down and look at where are the common traits? What do you really want? And this isn't how they treat you, right? Because you want them to treat you really, really well. Like zero out of 10, they should be treating you at a 10 and you should be treating them at a 10, by the way, as well, just so you know. So that's not part of it. Your sex life, your intimacy life, that's not part of it, that comes. What you're looking for is how do you identify them on a date? So now you've got a list of five to seven traits. That's what I want you to pick out. What do you really want them to show up with in the world? In other words, how do they treat other people? How do they treat their friends? How do they treat their family? And thus, how do they treat you? Like, who are they really as a person? Now you can start evaluating these people on these five to seven traits that you really want. So that way there's not, oh, this apple versus this orange. You're really looking at, do they have these five to seven traits? And if they don't have all those traits, they're out the door. Makes it nice and easy. Not that you have to be like, oh, you suck. But you can say, hey, you're not actually the partner that I want because the partner that I want has these traits and I don't see that in you. You may not want to say that. You may just say, hey, this doesn't seem like a good fit, right? But then you can stand in your confidence and instead of being nervous on dates, you're actually evaluating them as a person, but as something that you want, right? And you can know that when you let them go, you're letting them go. So that way you can have the perfect partner and so can they, because someone else will love all those traits they have. So good luck, write in the comments below, what are the five to seven traits that you really wanna see in your life partner? Put it in there, start manifesting, and remember that you're loved, you're loving, and you're lovable. Bye-bye.